Susan Bondi. I'm an associate professor of epidemiology at the Dalamana School of Public Health, University of Toronto. And I am Katie McIsaac, and I am a recent graduate of the epidemiology program at the Dalamana School of Public Health. The Canadian Society for Epidemiology and Cloud Statistics has been an organization that represents my discipline for decades, and it's a strong organization. It's one that I want to become involved with and give back more to the organization by helping to organize meetings um, and be part of the leadership. So I am actually no longer on the board, but from 2007 to 2009, I served as the student representative. And part of the reason that I wanted to be involved in the board, it really echoes what Sue was speaking to, in that. Um, well, I personally feel that it's very important to have an epidemiology, uh, a CSCB, or an epidemiology society within Canada. Um, it's an opportunity to network with peers that are doing similar work, to meet new people, and also just to learn from other people in your field. So I think that the organization is very important in itself. And so being able to contribute to the organization as a student representative was something that was really important to me. The next scientific meeting is going to be held in Toronto and the university host for the student meeting will be also at the University of Toronto and that will be in May of 2015. Um, I think really one of the main goals would be to uh, highlight some of the epidemiological research that is happening in Canada or that is relevant to Canadians uh, as this is a society for epidemiologists and biostatistics. Uh, also one of the goals would be to provide an opportunity for uh, students to network with uh, professors and other researchers in the field as well as other researchers in the field to network with each other and to meet new students. We're hoping that this meeting will be a big meeting. Um, it's central location and uh, proximity to government and research centers in Toronto it should make it a big draw. It will be an exciting meeting. If we do a good job on the meeting, it will have something for everybody from the research academic community to the very strong Ontario cohort of people who are doing epidemiologic research and surveillance research in applied settings in public health. Um, and if, we, if, the, if the meeting's a success, we will have something for everybody in terms of bringing the academic research world and the public health research world together as epidemiology and biostatistics are used in both of those fields. We are hoping as well that uh, the meeting will focus on career path opportunities and career development so that we can have something that appeals to early stage researchers, trainees, mid-career scientists and uh, allow an opportunity for people to interact with the senior mentors in epidemiology, um, ask their questions and uh, interact with the, the leaders in the field. One of the things that's going to be different about this conference is that it's in the city of Toronto and Toronto has a lot of research institutions that are applied, academic, and so I think we're going to get a wide network of people in both academic and uh, applied epidemiology, so it's going to be a great opportunity. Hopefully representatives from each of these institutions will come to that conference and so that will be something exciting to look forward to. And I also heart Toronto. I think Toronto is great and I want to be able to introduce the epidemiologists and biostatistics of Canada to our wonderful city. We're making direct efforts to make sure that alumni of the schools in and around the Toronto area are going to be invited and welcome to come to the meeting so that it should be, it should be much like a homecoming for people who have studied and trained in epidemiology in the last decades. Uh, it, we also hope that it will have a strong job fair so that we have presenters and sponsors who are the people who are, are building the career opportunities for epidemiologists and biostatistics. Well, we'll be looking for students who are training in epidemiology at all levels, who are in the Toronto area, can be volunteering to be members of the student organizing committee. We'll be looking to the student organizers of the 2014 meeting to interact with us, and we will be shadowing them as they make their preparations and finding out what their preferences, likes, dislikes are. Uh, we're hoping that faculty will suggest to the scientific committee the topics that they want to speak on, the topic, topics they want to hear about, um, recommending keynote speakers, uh, stepping up as a keynote speaker, being willing to come as a mentor to workshop sessions that are being organized. There are lots of ways that epidemiologists and biostatisticians can become involved in the next meetings. 
because I love problem solving and I like critical thinking and I think that epidemiology really marries those two interests. It helps to solve problems on a population level and it the answers that you can provide with epidemiologic research, I mean, it's just a starting ground for other types of research questions. So I just think epidemiology is a wonderful field. It's a way of always learning. Every day there's a new challenge coming out in epidemiologic research and public health. And the epidemiology world has to suss out what's happening here and why is this happening. It's always a, a game of playing detective fiction, trying to discover patterns in the world. It's always a challenge. There's always something new. It's, it's a great field. Thank you.